This is part two of high throughput phenotypic screening using machine learning. This work is supported by Networks. The published papers and code can be downloaded from the link below. High throughput phenotypic screening requires multidisciplinary techniques. TSQPI covers optics, biology, microfluidics, electronics, and data analytics. Time stretch quantitative phase imaging (TSQPI) integrates machine learning with high-speed quantitative imaging, achieving record higher accuracy in label-free cell classification. Our system captures quantitative optical phase and intensity images using femtosecond mode lock laser, diffraction gratings, long working distance near IR objective lenses. Raman amplifiers, photo detector, and analog to digital converters. In digital domain, the signals are synchronized, demodulated, fused into 2D images for future feature extraction. Multiple biophysical features of individual cells form a hyperdimensional feature space, in which supervised learning is performed for cell classification. Here is a comparison of quantitative optical phase and loss images of blood cells. The optical phase images are reconstructed after decoding the phase shift in each pulse. They reveal the protein concentration distribution within cells. The optical loss is governed by the absorption of light in cells, as well as the scattering from the surface of the cells and from the internal cell organelles. Quantitative optical phase shift and the intensity loss images are captured simultaneously. Using image analysis tools and our domain expertise, the raw images are fused and transformed into a suitable set of biophysical features. Here is an example of the multivariate features measured by our TSQPI system for the cancer cell classification. This is the 3D scatter plot, attributed to size, protein concentration, and attenuation. The 2D projection on the three orthogonal planes are shown in blue and green. This is clear that additional dimensions improve the distinguishment among different cell types compared to individual features. Here is another example. Classification of algae cells, Chlamydomonas, by TSQPI based on their lipid content. The inset is a conventional label-free flow cytometry using forward scattering and side scattering. It's not enough to distinguish the difference between high lipid and low lipid content algal cells. TSQPI is much more efficient in separating the two algae population. ROC curves on the right for binary classification of normal and lipid-rich algae species. The blue curve shows the classifier performance using all 16 biophysical features extracted from TSQPI. The red, gray, and orange curve shows the classifier decision performance using only the single biophysical features in category morphology, optical phase, and optical loss respectively. The label-free selection of LGL streams improves as more biophysical features are employed. This heat map depicts the correlation between all major 16 features extracted from the quantitative images. Diagonal elements of the matrix represent correlation of each feature with themselves, i.e. the autocorrelation. The subsets in box 1, 2, and 3 show high correlation because they are mainly related to morphological, optical phase, and loss feature categories, respectively. The ranking of biophysical features based on their accuracy in single feature classification is shown on the right. Blue bars show performance of the morphological features which include the diameter along the interrogation rainbow, diameter along the flow direction, tight cell 
area, loose cell area, parameter, circularity, major axis length, orientation, and median radius. Orange bars show the optical phase shift feature, optical path length differences, and the refractive index difference. Green bars show optical loss features representing scattering and absorption by the cell. The best performed feature in these three categories are marked in red. As expected, morphology contains most information, but other biophysical features can contribute to improved performance of label-free phenotypic screening.